What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. Today we got to talk about Baby Doge because as you can see, Baby Doge is doing very, very nice and the whole overall crypto market is doing nice. So we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about why it's doing nice. And also we're going to go over some more updates with the Baby Doge. So definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, don't forget to check out CryptoMillionaires.shop. If you want to go ahead and get you some Crypto Millionaire shirts, you can use the discount code Marcellus for 10% off of your order at the checkout. And yeah, definitely come here and check it out. We got all these cool shirts. They'll definitely look good on you. They're nice fitting shirts and everything. So yeah, definitely check these shirts out and definitely check out the hoodies, the hats, all the gear we got here at CryptoMillionaires.shop. So yeah, definitely go ahead and check that out. And let's go over Baby Doge now. So as you can see, Baby Doge has been pumping. So since yesterday, we actually started to go up. And it's pretty interesting because you can see we started the breakdown below the support yesterday. And then the information came in for our, um, the information came in for the inflation. And it actually wasn't as bad as we thought it was going to be. So that actually caused the whole crypto market to rise and Baby Doge including. So yeah, we're doing very, very well here. You can see Baby Doge is doing good, up 6.4% in the last 24 hours. So that's really good as well. If you look at the whole overall crypto market, we are up on we are on a really good uptrend. And honestly, I think we might actually be in the bull market. Like I think this might be the start of the bull run. You know, I know yesterday I said, I don't know, maybe it's not yet. Maybe there's one more big drop coming. But hey, that big drop did not happen when we thought that it would. We thought that there would be some bad inflation on this report, but the report wasn't bad. And then we had stopped here at that support at uh, 8Z234 for um, Baby Doge. Now we're back up at 8Z25. So that's pretty cool. And um, also over here for Baby Doge, you can see we're at now at a new resistance for Baby Doge coins. So this new resistance has us all the way up here stuck at 8Z25, trying to get past 8Z26 pretty much. So that's pretty much where we're stuck at right now here with the baby doge so that's what we're trying to do right now and as for the four hour chart here pretty much looking at the long term for baby doge there is a lot of resistance so i'm not going to act like we don't have a lot of resistance we tried to break that same resistance back on um march 4th we couldn't break it right and then we started to break down even more so hopefully we could break that resistance you know because this is a heavy area of resistance i mean it was pretty heavy for us even back here in uh early february so I think it'll be a hard area to break past, but we can still do it if we have enough momentum and if we're actually inside of a bull market. So I really think if we could pass 8Z30 again in Baby Doge, this might actually be the bull market. And you can see over here, like Baby Doge is doing very well. The red area shows supply and demand of less demand. So if there's way less demand in this area and Baby Doge somehow finds a way to get past this area and actually build that momentum to pass 8Z30, and that pretty much shows that this is probably the bull market that we're inside of right now. So that's what we're going to keep watching out for here inside of Baby Doge. Now, moving on to Bitcoin, let's talk about the Bitcoin technical analysis. So Bitcoin is also doing very good as well. Bitcoin is at 25.9K, pretty much stuck at the 26K resistance. And yeah, we're having a hard time trying to uh, get past this right now. We already got up to like 24.4K. But right now, we're really trying to get past 24. Or I mean 26.5K. But yeah, that's what we're trying to get past right now, 26.5K. We already got past 26.4K, but right now we're at 25.9K. We had a little pullback because we were a little bit overbought here. So you can see that we pulled back because we were overbought, and now you're seeing that selling wave coming in on the oscillator here. But overall, you know, Bitcoin is doing very, very well. I, I definitely believe now, like, this actually might be the bull market. Like, the fact that we did not go anywhere below this area here at about uh 19.5k like we hit 19.5k k ish somewhere around that area uh 19.5k barely going down below 20k and then we just had a huge bullish run now what we're looking at here though on the oscillator you can see how we were oversold throughout these um areas here we were way way oversold so these overselling areas you know they led to us having this pump because you can see as the selling slows down the buying speeds up so I don't know if we could actually um, attribute this to the inflation rate not being as bad as people thought. But yeah, if you look over here, a lot of people are talking about it. Bitcoin not just nine months high after inflation data bolsters uh, speculation of smaller rate hikes. So they're going to be like, look, we're probably going to get a smaller rate hike 
so it's not going to be as bad. And um, yeah, so I, I don't think it's going to be too bad for us. Yeah, we bought, we got all the way up to 26.5K, so we did very good there. Uh, the CPI rose 0.4% in February from January and was up 6% annually. But it wasn't as bad as they thought that it was going to be, so it was, it was a little bit better, right? And then over here, they say that compares with previous speculation that the Fed could hike by 50 basis points. So they thought that the Fed would hike by base, 50 basis points based off of um, the previous CPI data. But now this CPI data, they're like, look, the latest CPI reading solidified expectations that policymakers will increase rates by another 25 basis points. So and then pause afterwards. So they're going to increase it by 25 basis points. And then they're going to pause after they do that instead of doing it month after month after month after month because it kind of looked good. They thought they were going to have to do 50 basis points. So this kind of makes it way better for us. So yeah, Bitcoin, definitely looking very bullish here for Bitcoin. You can even see over here, Bitcoin at, um, of 7.5% in the last 24 hours. That's very good. I think that we actually might be inside of the bull market. So this is really good news for us. But yet again, you know, Bitcoin, just like Baby Doge, is at a uh, huge resistance area. So we got to get past this area. We got to get past 28K, honestly. Like, if we can get past 28K to 30K Bitcoin, then I think that would pretty much show that, yes, this is the bull market. But right now, you know, I do believe that this quite possibly could be the start of something amazing, which is the bull market. So hopefully it's actually the bull market. We had some scares like this back in the past. I mean, if you look back here, we thought we were uh, entering back into the bull market back here, right? And like, we, we thought we were like really really gonna stay bullish but obviously it did not stay bullish it was like nope it just kept going down 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 all 2022 and then look we were like you know what 2022 is just not that year for crypto and then coming into 2023 boom everything starts going crazy and you also have to remember how bi the bitcoin cycle is like if you think about the bitcoin having being next year um 2024 march i think i believe march 24th i believe 2024 then we usually start pumping literally a year before we have the actual Bitcoin halving. So I think this is the beginning of that because you see we are now pumping literally a year before the actual Bitcoin halving. So this is going to be interesting. And I'm especially going to be curious to see where we are by March 4th. Because if we are bullish by March 4th, then yes, it is definitely or March 24th, not 4th. March 24th, if we're bullish by then, then yes, this is definitely going to be the beginning of the bull market. But yeah, that's what, that's what it's looking like here. But um, anyways, moving on from the Bitcoin technical analysis, let's talk some more about Baby Doge. So Baby Doge is at 6.7% up for the last 24 hours. We're doing very good there. Um, we're increasing in our price. Everyone thought we were about to keep crashing. Even I thought we were going to go down to 8Z12 or something like that with the way we were going and the way things were looking. But now Baby Doge is looking more bullish than ever. So I think this is really good for us. So right now our um our market cap is just increasing, increasing, and increasing. So all is well there. And as you can see, the whole overall crypto market is bullish. So very, very good news across the board for crypto. And um, yeah, I'm gonna make a video here about stacks. We talked about this during the live stream yesterday. Stacks is doing amazing. They have a whole uh thing they're doing with Coinbase, a whole partnership going on. So, yeah, Stacks is doing very well. But um, we're going to talk about that in a separate video. But moving on from this, though, let's talk a little bit more about some other stuff. So now um, Baby Doge is now at 1,710,360 holders. So a little bit of holders increased from yesterday, just a little bit, about 200. But, yeah, we're still doing good. We're still increasing in holders. So not complaining there. And also over here, less than one week away from the announcement, of the baby doge game so apparently it's going to be on a monday and apparently it's going to be on the 20th of uh, march here so hopefully it's actually um on that day but yeah, this is going to be pretty good that they're announcing the game i will say a game doesn't necessarily make a crypto bullish so uh, i will be honest there and say just because we're getting a game doesn't mean we're just going to have a huge pump like games really don't do much i'm going to be completely honest Unless it's like a play to earn game that everybody wants to play and everybody wants to get in on. But if it's not like that, then typically games don't increase prices. Like you got to think about um, the metaverse thing with Sheeb. Like it didn't really do much for Sheeb, but it's, it's another addition to Sheeb, right? So it gives, uh, it incentivizes certain types of people to get in on Sheeb. 
So it will incentivize certain types of people to get in on Baby Dose, like people that really like playing crypto games. But yeah, typically crypto games don't make us rise by much. But this is interesting that we're getting more and more additions added to Baby Doge. So just more avenues for people to come into Baby Doge from. So that's a very, very good. And you can see here the trend here for um, Bryce. So BitGirt trending here on Twitter. So we're going to make a whole, we're going to go over BitGirt too in another separate video. But um, moving on from this though, let's talk about Baby Doge Swap because we've been increasing in our liquidity as well. So our liquidity is now at $49.01 million, which is good. And it's up from uh, $44 million. So we have been increasing in the in liquidity there. Um, you can also see our volume is now at $924,000 inside the last 24 hours. And our last 24-hour burn is at $5.2 trillion. So yeah, the burns have been moving a little bit slow lately. So by April 1st, it doesn't even look like we'll probably get to $40 trillion. Honestly, by April 1st, we'll probably be more like $38 trillion or $39 trillion. We might actually get to $40 trillion, but that would be probably at the most. So, yeah, by April 1st, uh, let's just say we do a whole $40 trillion. They're going to multiply that by 5 for us. Remember that? So, they're going to go ahead and multiply this $40 trillion by 5 for us. So, they're probably going to burn like $200 trillion, which isn't too big of a deal. I'm going to be honest. Um, they used to do $1 trillion burns every month. Uh, they really it used to be like $3 trillion or three quarter trillion a month. So, it used to be really big. But... They can't really do that anymore. I mean, once you burn so many coins, like what what other coins are gonna are they gonna burn, right? Because most of the coins are being held by the holders. So how are they gonna burn coins that we're holding? So yeah, that's why they're doing it like this, and they're doing smaller burns now. So that's why they put the burn portal out to incentivize people to burn their own coins because we are holding most of the baby Doge coins. If we're gonna be honest here, but uh, moving on from this though, you can see. 204 quadrillion total of burn on uh the burn wallet so 204.15 quadrillion that is very 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 good for us uh baby Doge bought through the burn portal is still increasing at 382 trillion so yeah that's really good um moving on from all of this good stuff though let's talk about the farms here on baby Doge swap because those are also increasing the apr isn't increasing but we are increasing in our liquidity now in fact from like 4.7 million or something like that but now we're now at 5.2 million in total liquidity so liquidity is increasing uh, my baby doge earned is also increasing at 1.7 uh 1.7 billion so yeah i'm getting more and more baby doge and you can see 151 dollars in here i started with 80 dollars. so the fact that it's at 151 dollars now that's pretty significant i've even burned um i've even burned my rewards before so it's pretty interesting to see what we're doing here on baby doge so shout out to the baby doge army for this uh wouldn't it be possible without the doge army but uh moving on from that though you can see over here on DeFi llama baby doge is at rank 108 so we're doing better now we're starting to increase inside of our rankings here hopefully we can get back up to rank 90 because that was like the the golden season for baby doge shiba swap has been has been increasing a lot on DeFi llama you can see of 9.62 percent in the last uh seven days and that's because, you know, Shibarium's coming out and they already got the beta out. So a lot of people are jumping in on Shiba Swap. So that's pretty interesting to see. I want to see Baby Doge rise, though. I, I got to see us stay above Shiba Swap. But yeah, shout out to the Shiba Army, too. Um, but yeah, just shout out to all the people in Baby Doge Army. Uh, none of this would be possible without the Baby Doge Army. So shout out to all y'all. But yeah, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. Definitely hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And also, don't forget to come to the CryptoMillionaires.shop to get you some Crypto Millionaires merch here. We got the Crypto Millionaire Established in 2023 shirt. I got this one coming in soon. It's going to look nice on me. It's going to look nice on you. It's going to look nice on all of us. And then we got the King Bitcoin shirts. We got Crypto Vibe shirts all over. Um, we got a lot of different shirts over here. We got a lot of different clothing options. So if you want to come to CryptoMillionaires.shop, and get you some of this merch definitely do that because this merch is looking pretty cool and we got a lot of it we got some for women we got some for everybody we got some from the men we got some for everybody we got some over here with the the iphone cases every single iphone case from the iphone 7 to the iphone 14 pro max plus whatever you want to get but yeah we got everything we got cups hoodies jackets everything is looking crisp nice and dandy over here so if you want to come over here and copy you a crypto vibes crypto millionaire Whatever you want to do, definitely come over here and do that. Get some Crypto Millionaires merch. 
But anyways, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. As always, I'll be back with another video.